Thursday. Welcome to another episode of the thing we do here, which is hot and newsy. I forgot what it was called, but I didn't forget about today's video sponsor. Hey friends, today's video is brought to you by Helix Sleep. My friends, I value sleep so much. I don't get that much of it. And the stuff that I do get is interrupted because my son wakes up in the middle of the night. Anyways, I prioritize getting quality of sleep because I cannot, I physically just don't have enough time to prioritize the quantity of sleep. And that's where Helix Sleep can come in and help you. They have a personalized sleep quiz to help match the perfect mattress to your personal sleeping style, whether that be on your side, on your back, on your front, whether you like soft, firm, or medium feeling mattresses, you can go on their website, you can match in all of your details and they will link you to the appropriate mattress. Then they ship it straight to your door, no problems. And if you sleep with a partner, you can take the sleep quiz together to make sure that you find the perfect compromise for both of you. So Helix Sleep actually sponsored the beds for Reese and Catlin here in the office. Reese is a stomach sleeper who likes to make sure that his mattress is firm, which then paired him up with the Helix Dawn mattress. It got shipped straight to our door. You just unbox it, unravel it, pop it open, put it on the bed, and then Reese has been sleeping like a baby ever since. Isn't that right, friend? Hands down. So it's shipped to your door for free. It's rolled up so it's not too arduous. I was able to carry it up the stairs all by myself. And if you're nervous about trying it, Helix Sleep has a 100 night sleep trial. That's more than three months to make sure that you love their mattresses. And if you don't, they'll pick it up for you and you'll get a free refund. You literally have nothing to worry about. You can try them out for 100 nights for free. That's a lot of nights. Not only is the delivery free, but you also can do it no contact, dropped off right at your door. They're made in the USA and they have a 10 year warranty if you do and decide to end up keeping it after your 100 night trial. So if you visit the link below down in the video description, helixsleep.com forward slash UFD, you can save up to $200 off on the mattress and get two free pillows. Again, that's helixsleep.com forward slash UFD. You'll save up to $200 off and get free pillows. Make sure that you get the dream mattress for you. And and don't like it, return it, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now that you're well rested from your mattress, let's go ahead and talk about how you can be well rested in the world of GPUs. You can't, you can't, because there's just new stuff coming out all the time. New GPU companies. Oh man, we already talked about how Huawei was one of them and we'll get to that actually a little bit more in just a second, but there's another. Yes, my friends, there's another potential GPU company. And by potential, I mean they have it on the roadmap. They just actually have to deliver a freaking product at this point. And that is Zhao Xin, who has been making CPUs that have been competing with Intel and AMD over in China as a way to get away from Intel and AMD dominancy in that country. And it looks like, according to the roadmap that Zhao Xin has actually released, they are working on a 28 nanometer, 70 watt standalone GPU that could potentially actually run video video games. Obviously, we haven't been on 28 nanometers for a hot minute. Maxwell, I believe, was the last time we were on 28 nanometers. So you don't have to necessarily worry that this is going to dominate the gaming GPU space. However, it could mean less money in the pockets of AMD and Nvidia when it comes to selling GPUs in China. And I remember back when the 10 series was still around, there was a huge influx of 1060s coming online because they started opening up in gaming cafes and more games were starting to get approved by the Chinese government. This could potentially hurt the bottom lines of AMD and Nvidia if China decides, hey, we're only going to use locally produced computer parts now, and we will not allow these other foreign companies to come in and take our market, which could potentially shake things up pretty drastically. We'll have to see how this plays out. But Zhao Xin actually with the roadmap 28 nanometer 70 watt standalone GPU could potentially be coming out sometime soon. But what's also coming out sometime soon is something that is just, it's a massive gargantuan 250 teraflops of performance of a new GPU company, at least new to me. I haven't heard of them before, but they have been making things for a while because they are coming out with a seven nanometer, 832 square millimeter die with 59.4 billion transistors and 250 teraflops. You don't do that if that's your first rodeo. And it looks like GraphCore is launching this for the intense purpose of AI and AI alone with them calling this an IPU, known as an intelligence processing unit, which it's gonna be 100% focused on 
AI. They're saying they're 100% focused on silicon processors for AI and on building systems that can plug into existing centers. Why would we want to build CPUs or GPUs if those already work well? This is just a different toolbox. That was Graphcore's CEO saying that they don't need to worry about competing with AMD and NVIDIA. They can just be separate than them and slap them in the face. Obviously, NVIDIA launched their recent A100 chip, and this thing is nearly as big and can potentially outperform it with it being able to scale to up to one petaflop in performance in the future. That is going to be crazy. And in case you don't recall, we did talk about Huawei's GPU, which is supposed to be an AI processing unit. You could check out the hot news episode that we covered this in right up there. But we're not done with GPU news. No, more GPU stuff, okay? Because Intel has something big to share. At least according to them, they have an event happening on September 2nd. They sent this invitation out. They have something big to share called Drop-In. Uh, they're saying drop in September 2nd. This probably more than likely would be the launch for Tiger Lake, which is supposed to have Project Z graphics in it, which we have not seen yet, but it could potentially also be an unveiling of the dedicated graphics cards that are supposed to come out to consume. Or potentially, if it's not the launch of those cards, it would be an indication of when we're gonna get a launch and maybe see some sort of performance benchmark on that, which could be pretty cool. So a lot of GPU cycling going on right now. We're at the end of what appears to be the last generation of GPUs, and now we're moving forward into the next gen. And so excited for that. And it looks like Sony is excited to move into the next gen of consoles because there's a new report coming out of Bloomberg and Nikkei saying that uh, we talked about how Sony was gonna produce too few PS5 consoles. Well, they decided, hey, Let's not do that. Let's produce double that amount with them saying that they're gonna produce between nine and 10 million consoles before the end of the year, apparently due to just pent up demand from everybody staying at home and nobody really having an outlet for it at this point. The PlayStation 4, for reference sake, launched in November 2013 and sold 4.2 million units by the end of the year. So Sony is expecting the PS5 is gonna sell like hotter cakes than I've ever seen caked hotly i don't know what i'm saying there but that could potentially mean that the ps5's pricing is way more enticing than i thought i'm i'm, I'm expecting a 600 dollars price for the one with the disc if they're expecting to sell 9 to 10 million units might we see a 400 dollars ps5 I don't know. Also, with this report, they're saying that Oculus is planning on ramping up production of the Oculus VR headsets in order to get more units out by the end of this year, which is good because if you go over on Amazon and you're trying to see Oculus Quest, yeah, it looks like you're gonna have to wait till the middle, late August in order to get one of those. So, uh, Oculus Quests, I hey, get get more, and you can get more pictures on Reddit natively because they are now finally rolling out native image galleries i don't know why this wasn't a thing and apple's getting an updated support as well with their digital car key service now coming online on ios this apparently applies to very few bm recent bmw cars that can allow you to like lock and unlock your car from your phone using the apple wallet and what else launched today was NBC's Peacock. And by today, I meant yesterday because you're watching this in the future. And it launched on Chromecast, Android TV, and on Android with a three free three-month trial, but not without some crap going down because it wasn't available on Google's Play Store but via search. You had to get a direct link to that. It has now since been updated, but Peacock not rearing its feathers. But Amazon rearing people's ears and not rearing in the like child rearing, but like pain rearing. Is there a verb where rearing is painful? I don't know. That's not the discussion point happening here. Apparently their Echo Buds were overheating and they rolled out a software update that should potentially not do that. I can't imagine having my ears overheat because I'm wearing these gosh dang headphones. Amazon said to The Verge that there has been a limited number of cases so far and that there are no injuries. I would imagine if my ears feel like they're on fire, I'm going to take out the earbud and then throw it away and tell people to never buy your product. So it's probably good that they're fixing it. And it doesn't look like Square Enix is fixing Marvel's Avengers. It still looks really bad, but you can try the beta on the PlayStation 4 on August 7th, and then you can try the beta on Xbox and PC a week later. And a week later is less time than what it's been for the Uncharted movie, which has gone through, I think, four directors at this point, maybe three. However, Tom Holland putting this picture on Instagram showing that he should start filming. He's playing Nathan Drake, so he has 
he, he's got his chair. Tom Holland in a chair, different than Spider-Man because he was swinging. Webs go up, so does Rocket. Rocket brings satellites, satellite bring you internet, SpaceX, Segway, you're welcome. It looks like they're gonna start with the private beta of their Starlink internet service sometime soon. When they were getting people's information previously, they asked for the zip code. Now they're asking for specific addresses. And in that same email, they said that they're gonna be doing a private beta this summer and then a public beta later on. I'm actually kind of excited. I would like to try this. So we'll see if that happens. It looks like they're gonna be launching the beta program in the Northern United States and lower Canada, which does not include me because I'm in Florida with the, 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 the peninsula. Why did I say it like that? What's wrong with me? I'm in Florida, the peninsula part, the, the wang of the United States. Yeah. And you know what else is not a wang? Raspberry Pi. What? What is the second? Uh, the CEO of Raspberry Pi coming out and saying that they should have NVMe support rolling out to the next generation. There you go. That's the that's the article. And Google trying to potentially bring out more Play Store support to Geo, which is a company in India that brings value oriented smartphones to the Indian consumers, and they can't actually support the Play Store or the Android operating system. So Google's partnering with them to like try to make that work a bit more co cohesively. And Mozilla is trying to make VPNs a bit more cohesive in various different regions. In case you haven't heard, Mozilla has launched a VPN. It's about $5 a month, but it's in, been in beta in the United States while well, they are rolling it out to five more countries, the UK, Canada, New Zealand, Singapore, and Malaysia. You can try those out if you're in one of those places. And while you're down there, check the description for today's video sponsor. Big thanks again to Helix Sleep for sponsoring today's video. Go to helixsleep.com forward slash UFD to save up to $200 off on your mattress. Get paired up with the mattress that's perfect for you. Get two free pillows when you use the link. You spend a third of your life sleeping, folks. Make sure it's on a good mattress. Helix Sleep. And that's it. That's, that's the news. It was hot, spicy. Hit the like button, get subscribed. Tech news over.